Hello everyone, welcome to Tathasto ICS. In this video, we are going to study about mitochondrial replacement therapy in 3 minutes. In each cell of the human body, there is DNA. Now out of that DNA, 99% is junk DNA and the rest 1% is your functional DNA. Now that functional DNA codes for all the characteristics of the human body. Okay. On those functional DNA, there is presence of genes. Okay. So a gene is any functional sequence of nucleotides on the DNA. But what happens sometimes during the process of replicating uh, the gene undergoes a certain mutation. Now to understand this, let us assume that a gene is a word like A, T, G, C, C. Now, while the process of replicating, what happens that it turns into A, T, G, G, C. Now, this error, this spelling mistake, we can say is a mutation. Now, this mutation leads to a lot of diseases. Okay, 99.9% .9 of the DNA of the cell, it is present in the nucleus and only 0.1% of the DNA is present in the mitochondria. So naturally, any mutation, if it takes place in the mitochondria of the cell, the disease thus caused will be called a mitochondrial disease. Now, one very interesting thing about these mitochondrial diseases is that these diseases, they can be inherited only from the mother, which means the father cannot be responsible for giving a child a mitochondrial disease. This exact thing was asked in as one of the options in a question in 2021 prelims paper. So, which makes the topic very important. Okay. Now, in order to avoid these diseases, there is a treatment called mitochondrial replacement therapy. Now, how this is done, we are going to understand that. Okay. Now, first of all, what do we have to do? We have to find a female who has a healthy mitochondria. So, a female who has an egg with a nucleus with a healthy mitochondria. Okay. Now, this is a mitochondria. Now, what do we do is that we remove the nucleus from this female's egg cell and then put it in the mother's egg cell, which also we have already enucleated. Now, we have a new egg cell which has the mitochondria of the donor and rest 23 chromosomes of the mother. Now, what do we do is that we, uh, un under control conditions, what do we do? We fertilize this new egg cell with the father's sperm cell and that leads to the formation of such a zygote which has the mitochondria from the donor 23 chromosomes from the mother and 23 chromosomes from the father now then we let it rapidly multiply under controlled conditions and that leads to the development of a healthy embryo without a mitochondrial mutation which we further transfer to the womb of the mother and the mother only the, the uh, biological mother who transfers this 23 chromosomes all only carries the child for the span of nine months okay so this process is done in order to avoid such diseases now what are the advantages obviously the number one advantage is that it uh, eliminates the inheritance of these diseases then uh, two names are given alper syndrome and lay syndrome so these can also be asked as options which of the following is a mitochondrial disease okay also other sort of genetic modifications can be done like we transfer the mitochondria using the similar technology we can transfer other parts of the cell also which can lead to the formation of designer babies okay so another disadvantage will be that this method has not undergone long-term testing yet one more thing is that as this technology is very advanced, it will be very costly and it will further accentuate the already existing inequalities that are present in the society. Now, the recent development that is there is that Britain, it becomes the first country in the world to approve of this technique. Okay. And uh, this technique is restricted in the USA, but the first three parent child was born in Mexico by Dr. John Zhang. Okay, he was from the New Hope Fertility Clinic. Okay, so this is it for the topic and uh, I hope you all understood it thoroughly 
and for more such videos subscribe to the thastu ics channel like this video share it with your friends and let us know in the comment section what more topics we can cover through these kind of videos thank you